Hey guys, my name is Jason with Knob Baker Mining and Metals, and we're back today. We're going to do another demonstration on smelting. We were just in Kenya here a couple weeks ago, and we heard from the locals as well as the government officials. They are really looking for a safer and less toxic alternative to mercury to recover the gold from their concentrates, from their sluice boxes, and other concentrators. So um, I know I've done in the past a few uh, smelting videos showing some alternatives to roasting and uh, some things like that using collector metals. Today, I wanted to just bring it back, make it real simple, and show the easy steps that you can go through uh, one at a time that where you can take a sulfide rich ore with free gold in it or a concentrate, roast it, smelt it down, and end up with a little gold button at the end. So I'll show you the ore, walk you through the process, and hopefully at the end we'll get a little gold prill. So this is the ore we're going to be using, and it's a pyrite rich ore. It's a concentrate off a shaker table, and all the free gold has been removed. So I'm going to add about half a gram of free gold back in to simulate concentrates off a sluice or a shaker table, and then we can uh, roast these and smelt them down and recover our gold button. Here's the ore, about 30 grams, and mixed with 30 grams of silica. And I just use my furnace with the KO wool to roast. I just take the top off and I put a cast iron frying pan on. So I'm gonna take my sulfides, silica, sprinkle them around on my frying pan to roast. I think, uh, I don't know the exact number, but I expect it gets up to somewhere between 500 and 700 degrees Celsius. And it doesn't need to be glowing red hot, but it needs to get pretty hot. And after about 10 or 15 minutes, it'll start smoking and the sulfur will start combining with oxygen in the atmosphere and drive off the sulfides and convert them to oxides. So we can smelt them uh, directly with our, the rest of our flux. So here's our half a gram of free gold I'm going to add into our roasted sulfides that we're going to smelt down and see if we can collect a half a gram gold button in the bottom of our crucible when it's poured. And this, is, this ends up being about 1.6% of our uh, ore by weight. So we're, we did 30 grams of sulfides and uh, we're going to add in half a gram of gold. All right, it's getting up to temperature. You can see the sulfides in there have turned black. I don't know if you can see in the video, but there's some blue smoke coming off there. Those are the sulfide fumes, the sulfur dioxide. And uh, I mixed it with the, the silica in there, the fine silica sand, because it really helps the sulfides not stick to the cast iron pan when you're roasting. If you just put a bunch of sulfides in there, they tend to stick to the pan when they get hot, but the silica seems to insulate them from the cast iron. So I wanted to let you guys know that little trick uh, while we had this, this thing going. And uh, it looks like almost all the blue smoke is now done coming off. It's really important that you stir this a couple times after it's done smoking, because there may be some sulfides that are insulated there in the bottom that aren't exposed to oxygen. So I'm gonna give this a little toss a couple times, make sure it's all roasted and no more blue smoke's coming off, and then we'll mix it in with the rest of our flux. I've dumped our roasted sulfides into this little stainless steel pan. Let them cool down a little bit. Let them cool down and you can see that they've turned like a, a red, a rusty red, which means that they've been converted from sulfides into oxides. So this was a real pyrite rich ore and what we've done is converted the pyrite into iron oxide and that's what gives it its rusty red color is because we turned it into rust. So I'm going to take the rest of our uh, flux here. This is 30 grams of soda ash and 120 grams of borax. We're going to add it into our 30 grams of roasted ore and 30 grams of silica. And I'm going to take our half a gram of gold, dump that in there. I'm going to mix it all up and put it in a crucible. So here's all our material mixed together. This is a 60 gram crucible from Legend Mine Supply. You can find them online. These are super cheap. I think these crucibles are like less than $2 a piece. Um, so I'm gonna take, uh, take our crucible and put it in our furnace here and smelt this stuff down, pour it in a cone mold and see if we can get a button out of it. All 
All right, we've poured our stuff into the cone mold. It's going to cool down now, and we will see about our little gold button in the bottom. Okay, our stuff's cooled down in the cone mold now. Kind of see it there, it's all glassy. I'm going to turn it over, try and knock it out of here into this bin. So I was just knocking, I just knocked on the tip just a little bit with the hammer and you can see that little gold bead coming here. Let's see if I can get it in focus. There you go. So I'm just going to try and do this. I'm going to try and do this here. So I'm going to keep knocking at it with the hammer. There it is. There's the gold bead. Let me, I need two hands. Let me knock it out of there and we'll take a look. All right, there's our little gold bead right there. And I knocked it out. You can see the little hole in the bottom of the cone mold where it was. Oops, right, right there. So there's our little gold bead on the scale. About 0 0.54, 0 0.55, depending on which way the wind's blowing. Uh, so we actually recovered a little bit more metal uh, than we started with. And I expect that that's from uh, the gold that we added in started to act, there we go, started to act as a collector for some of the fine, fine gold that was locked up in the, in the sulfides. So once we roasted the sulfides and liberated that gold from that matrix, we were able to capture it and uh, collected at the bottom. So we ended up with a little bit more gold than we started with. So uh, I think all in all that was a pretty successful test. So here's our little gold button and hopefully you guys enjoyed the demonstration. I wanted to show two things. I wanted to show that one it's possible to roast and direct smelt a sulfide concentrate without using any mercury. But also, I wanted to figure out a, how little amount of gold I needed to end up with a button at the bottom. And with this half a gram button of gold, I think we proved that you don't need very much gold at all to end up with a button at the bottom. So this can be done on a really small amount of concentrates and still end up with this button that we want. So I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please let me know if you have any questions. And really what we're trying to do here is give some alternatives to the small scale mining community uh, to el eliminate mercury from their mining practices. So I think we've uh, given a good alternative here to mercury. So uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.